Hi Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I am going to be doing your January 1st to the 10th, 2019 reading for you. And I'm so excited to be doing this first reading of the new year reading for you guys. Okay, so I've already shuffled and meditated upon the cards. So we're going to see what these 10 days have in store for you. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. And I am using the Steel Wizard Tarot deck. It has actually 88 cards in it instead of 78. She added Maidens to the deck and a few extra, what is it, Major Arcana cards, which I think give the deck a very nice depth to it. And I've been enjoying working with them. The cards are very big, so I want to make sure that you can see everything perfectly. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Fantastic. All right, Scorpio. You are creating this really lovely future for yourself. You are... It's almost as if right now you're really working on the finer details of everything. You're really sitting there and saying, okay, this is what I want. This is what I desire. This is, this is what I need to do. Kind of setting it all up. So your first card here is the temperance card. It's all about balance. It's all about you finding your balance and finding the rhythm that is working for you in these 10 days, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, that's going to help you move forward. That's going to help you sit there and get the prosperity that you want because you're going after prosperity and you're going after mental clarity but you also need to take time to rest you've been on a long journey and there's an awakening that's going on there's a sense also of feeling kind of overwhelmed by everything and just feeling trapped because you're watching your back you're looking at things and you're you're sitting there and you're saying you know can i trust this person can i tr not trust this person and there's a bunch of doubts and fears that are going to try and try going to try and almost paralyze you for a moment for um, Scorpio, sorry, sun, moon, or ascendant. So you're looking at things and you're saying, how do I move forward? How do I embrace what it is that I want? How do I change this fear into the prosperity that I know that is coming? You have the temperance card. I know I already said the temperance card, but there is a sense of balance coming. There is a sense of balance that you are embracing, that you are letting in and know that the angels are guiding you, Scorpio, sun, moon, or ascendant. So do not worry. Do not think that they're not there with you because they are. You have the moon card next. This is embracing your fears. This is not letting your fears kind of take over. This is also knowing that life happens in the phases, kind of like the moon. It's always changing. What did Plato say? All is flux and nothing stays the same. That is the truth that you are embla embracing. But you're also embracing the balance that comes through knowing that things have their cycle, have their moments. You are also having an awakening. Okay, for some of you, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, you're really going to see that things start to awaken within you, that you have more of an understanding of what's going on. And that actually might be overwhelming. That might be where you're feeling stuck because now you can see so many other options. You can see so many different ways of how things can work and how things could fail and everything like that. So know that you are breaking these chains, that you are breaking what is binding you and you are embracing this prosperity. With the nine of pentacles, you are moving forward and embracing prosperity, meaning that you are looking at things and you're sitting there within these 10 days and saying, okay, I need more stability, security, prosperity, financial prosperity in my life. How do I go about getting it? Because this is something that you are looking at. You are looking at how do I get the prosperity so I don't feel trapped? Well, the feeling trapped is actually coming from the awakening and the prosperity is coming through you being more in balance with yourself not being more in balance with yourself, but more in balance with what the world is offering you. More in balance with what it is that you desire, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. So know that the prosperity is coming and you're looking at it in a very real way, in a very big way, and saying, okay, so how do I add this to this? How do I add this coin to the rest of them? How do I know where everything fits? And the way that you do it is that you have this falcon right here. And you take the hood off the falcon's eyes and you see the big picture of what's ahead of you 
And by seeing that big picture, I don't mean that you can, you know, see into the future and know exactly what it is that you need to do in order to make the best plans for yourself. But it's almost as if right now you're focusing on the details so much that the big picture is being lost. So in these 10 days, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, look at the big picture. Free yourself from the binds because that's what's going to move you forward. Okay? Not sitting there and letting doubts and fears and overanalyzing the situation, that's not going to help you at all. It's sitting there and saying, I trust myself. I trust the decisions that I make. I trust my intuition. I know that I'm moving forward in balance, in wisdom. Fear is no longer a part of the way that I make my decisions. I'm not making my decisions. You're not making your decisions, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, out of fear. You're making it out of wisdom, knowing that times change, that life changes, and that you are embracing the tides of life and you are embracing the wisdom that you desire. Watch your back. Watch your back because there is, for some reason here, just a sense with the Seven of Swords of having to gather up your knowledge, gather up your understanding, and make sure that you have everything secure. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, because there is a sense here of either people not being as honest with you as they should be, or things not going as well as they should be. So by watching your back, okay, they're not going to be able to keep these doubts coming in your mind. They're not going to be able to keep you fretting because there is a sense here with the seven and then the eight count within the swords is that you're watching your back, but there's a reason for it. There's somebody who's not being open. There's somebody who's not being honest. There's somebody who's playing off of fears and doubts. And it's going to try and keep you tra trapped within those doubts and fears instead of letting you move over to prosperity, instead of letting you embrace the balance that is coming. Because the weaver's card is saying that you are creating the world that you want, right? You are slowly and steadily weaving the tapestry of your existence. And by doing so, you are embracing your truth instead of other people's truths because you are creating something that is specific to you, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, not to anybody else. Now, this is also saying to embrace each stage of the journey. There's a sense here of looking at things and planning, all right, of having to be, having to kind of break free of restrictions and doubts. So that is adding to the beauty of your tapestry. That is adding to the depth of your weave. The balance that is coming is going to show. Know that this is a journey. It's not always, this isn't, right now it isn't a destination. It's almost as if they, these 10 days are part of, well, of course, these 10 days are part of the bigger journey towards what it is that you want, towards what it is that you're creating. With your clarifying cards, being the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles is rep can represent an Earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, but this is also representing you fiercely guarding what it is that you want with the bear right down here, who is one of the major league players in the animal kingdom. You're fiercely guarding what it is that you desire, and you're sitting there with your divine right because that's what queens have, the divine right to be exalted and exalted above all others, right? So you are sitting there embracing this understanding, embracing your desire to move forward, embracing the here and the now and saying that I know my mind, nothing is going, I know my mind, nothing is going to stand in my way. This can also represent a air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius who helps you embrace your truth, embrace this financial prosperity that you were going after. It's not even financial prosperity. It's also, you know, just that security, that sense of being in control of the situation and helping things move forward. This card here, the Knight of Swords, is also saying do not rush into things. Do not sit there and rush into anything. Think it through and then go for it. You're brilliant, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, and you're embracing that brilliance to help you achieve your dreams, to help you achieve the stability that is coming or that you're getting closer to in these 10 days. Now you have the Four of Swords. Scorpio, you have been through a lot, and that's what the Four of Swords is saying here. The Four of Swords is saying to respect and honor every trial, every tribulation that you have been through. <coughs> Excuse me. And know that it is right now time to take care of you. When I see the Four of Swords, I think, especially this Four of Swords, and I don't know why because it's such a different image, but I think of the people, of the knights during medieval times laying in their coffins when they came home from campaign. And some of them would lay in their coffins just to think about the fact that they could not have come home. They could not have, you know, survived. So 
and giving thanks to everything that they have. There's a sense here of you needing to rest, of you needing to take time for yourself, of you needing to look at the situation, look at everything that you have been through, the situations that you have been through, and say, wow, look at everything that I have achieved. Look at the way that I have succeeded. Look at the way that I have come forward. And that is really going to propel you to the next place because you're giving yourself permission to take care of yourself. So Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. You're sitting there and you're being proud of everything that you've done and all the ways that you haven't been trapped or held back. Okay, because it goes. balance is coming in after or even though you feel as if you don't know which way to turn even though there is a sense of doubt there is a sense of fear there's a sense of being overwhelmed this balance is overriding it all you are creating through through the embrace of the spiritual and the earthly plane through you knowing that you're not trapped Scorpio Sun Moon or Ascendant you are creating and weaving the tapestry of your life. Don't let doubts and fears and don't let other people start deciding what you are creating, okay? Don't look back at everybody else. Keep your knowledge to yourself and keep on moving forward because you are creating the prosperity that you want in your life. You are creating the wealth, the bounty, and you're looking at things. Look at the bigger picture. Don't get caught in the minutia. Look at the big picture and say, okay, this is what needs to be done. This is how I need to move forward. And then you have the moon card here. You have wisdom guiding you, all right? You have your life moving forward in phases, but you also are embracing the phases and knowing that each day has its turn and everything is being created for a reason. You're going to also have an awakening for some of you, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant of self that is going to kind of bring you more towards the spiritual. The Queen of Pentacles is all about you embracing your prosperity, embracing your right on this earthly plane to sit there and live your truth and live in abundance. Take time for yourself. Take care of yourself and keep on charging forward. Now, it could be that you're having a earth sign and an air sign come together who help you, who help you rest, who help you see all that you have achieved and who help you create the weaving of your life that help you, you know, create this beauty and this tapestry that you are bringing forth in the way that you are embracing changes and new days and, you know, discomforts. But this is also saying that you are brilliant and you are prosperous and to embrace your brilliance and your prosperity and know that nothing can stop you, but make sure that you don't run yourself into the ground. Make sure you are taking time for yourself. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, your clarifying card. That's brilliant. Is the king of pentacles whenever i have the king and queen in the same reading in the same of the same suit in the same reading it's a soulmate connection so this could be that you are coming together with a soulmate who is helping you move forward now in love or this could be that that soulmate is somebody who's helping you in kind of the workplace and on this earthly plane create the prosperity that you want because soulmates don't just have to be lovers they can be you know any sort of soul connection. They could be any person who has that soul connection with you. And you can have multiple soulmates in a life that help you move forward and help you obtain your goals. So this is you obtaining your goals. This is you moving forward in the here and now on the earthly plane with the prosperity that you desire, with the acknowledgement that you desire, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. All right. Well, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness, and it was an absolute pleasure reading for you. Bye.